So Cruise and ER are a managed uh, security services provider. We offer uh, a variety of services to our customers. Our core service is uh, a managed security service. So we have a 24-7 SOC security operations center where we, uh, we monitor our customers' estates for, for cyber threat. Um, we uh, detect um, uh, attacks or anomalies and we respond to those uh, in order to make sure the customer's estate is secured. Um, that's our principal offering. Uh, we also have consultancy services um, where we, uh, we, we offer cyber maturity assessment, cyber risk assessment to help our customers establish their level of cyber security maturity uh, and to, to provide them with a path to, to improving that over time. Um, and finally, we have uh, engineering services, so we help customers implement some of the technical changes that we may recommend on the back of a, a cyber risk assessment or as just part of, of ongoing um, cyber improvement programs. Our security environment in the SOC consists of Chronicle SIEM and SOAR. We use Chronicle SIEM uh, in different ways. Uh, we use it to develop, review and test rules. Uh, analysts use it to respond to alerts we collect. Uh, we also use it for uh, incident investigations and uh, secondary evidence. Uh, as well as for uh, threat hunting and threat analysis. Most vendors will let you log anything from anywhere. But the problem is they'll either charge by the core, by how many analysts you have, for storage. We have some customers that are putting close to a petabyte a month in uh, to Chronicle. Uh, so you could imagine having that and having to pay for all the storage suddenly means that you have operational pressures to drop certain logs. When you drop the logs, you lose visibility. We use Chronicle SOAR in the SOC to uh, enrich and prioritize our alerts. We enrich them with IOC feeds, contact information from the customers, um, information from external sources and also other customer applications. We prioritize them to ensure that alerts are being picked up by our analysts based on what is more severe so we can respond as quick as possible uh, to high fidelity alerts. I can build a rule uh, for a firewall detection, and it doesn't matter what firewall it is, we only have that one rule, which makes it a lot easier to maintain. Uh, and moving forward, we can then build up standard processes, standard playbooks, because we're getting all the data in the same place, so actually when it comes into SOAR, all of that can be accelerated. We already know where we're looking at, we already know what's happening. You're now saving half an hour to an hour per hour there's a very good Microsoft integration. Um, the AWS integration is um, is very mature and very very powerful. And then we have the ability to customize and extend uh, in into your on-premises state or into any SaaS platform that is not covered out of the box. So I would say, um, just because you are not an existing Google Cloud customer, don't rule out looking at Chronicle as your as your CMO. Moving to Chronicle SIEM and SOAR, we wanted to see a reduction on response time, uh, increase of the use cases we can support for customers, uh, be able to perform more advanced correlation, decrease the amount of development time uh, and training time we need for our analysts, uh, and also increase of the amount of data we can bring into the SIEM. So far we've been able to achieve this and we can only see this continuing as new features become available to us and we utilize the tools uh, in their full capabilities.